Welcome to Active Dad, I'm Andre Holmes, and if this is your first time here, it's the perfect place for parenting tips on how to raise your children in a respectful, healthy, and effective way. Now I get a lot of questions asking, what's the difference between a logical consequence and a natural consequence? And we're also going to be talking about how those two compare to punishments. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so logical consequence versus natural consequence. We're going to talk about these two first before we move on to punishments. Now, when I'm raising my kids, obviously, you know, I have a four-year-old, a two-and-a-half-year-old, and a, a seven-month-old. And logical and natural consequences happen very often. You might ask yourself, well, how do I raise my kids using logical and natural consequences. The fact is, you don't have to. So, because natural consequences happen naturally and logical consequences happen logically. So, you don't have to do a lot of creative thinking when it comes to using logical and natural consequences. So, when you are using a logical consequence with your child, you wanna make sure you're using the three R's which is related, respectful, and reasonable. Related to what just happened, respectful to your child, and reasonable consequence. So now we're gonna talk about a natural consequence. A natural consequence is not imposed by a parent, is not imposed by a authority figure, is not imposed by anybody. It's something that just happens as a result of something that the child did. When we're talking about a natural consequence, these are outcomes that happen as a result of behavior that are not planned or controlled. So they are things that just naturally happen. So this right here, no effort, logical, minimum effort, and punishment, well, we'll get to punishments in a second. When we're allowing logical and natural consequences to be part of our parenting, it really is best for the child short term and long term obviously but it's also best for what the parent goes through this channel is about how to help parents as well so your stress level is important to me so when we're using logical and natural consequences this is the least stressful way for consequences to actually happen punishments is a behavior that inflicts emotional and physical pain on the child so We'll get to what the differences are between this and our scenarios. We have to ask ourselves, what is the goal of logical and natural consequences and punishments? Well, the goal for most of us is to teach your child to behave in a certain way. So we are going to go through a few scenarios. We're going to be talking about natural and logical consequences and punishments. We're going to go through how a kid, and this is your kid, deals with the natural, logical, and punishment. And then we're going to let that kid grow up as an adult dealing with the same situation and what the natural, logical, and punishment will be. So let's say you're trying to take your kid to the park, okay? And this kid is old enough to put their shoes on by themselves with no help at all. And this is the one thing that you're telling them to do so that you can go to the park. So a natural consequence of this would be, let's say the kid doesn't put the shoes on and the natural consequence would be that the park closes. Okay, that's a natural consequence. We have no control over when the park closes and we can't go there after it closes. 
The logical consequence of this would be, let's say that you had a uh, event to go to after the park and you only had about an hour window to take your kids to the park. If too much time passes, then you won't be able to go. Now you have to go to your next engagement, which is, let's say, Aunt Mary's having dinner for everybody in the family, okay? Too much time passes, and then you can't go. A punishment could be, let's say, spanked or a timeout, okay? So you spank the child or you put them in timeout because they're not listening, right? So I think we can all agree that childhood is a way to prepare you for adulthood. This is something that's happening as an adult. And the natural consequence of not being able to find your shoes is, well, now you lost sh your shoes. Okay? A logical consequence would be you won't be able to run with your friend because you can't find your running shoes. Now, a punishment for this as an adult would be, hmm, well, you didn't break the law, so the cops aren't going to be running to your house. And yeah, there is no punishment as an adult. So if we use punishments for our children, it doesn't translate into adulthood very well. But if we use a logical consequence, then we have a logical consequence as an adult. If we have a natural consequence, then we have a natural consequence as an adult. So our next scenario is that the kid won't turn off the TV, right? And he has something to do in the morning that's important, either going to school or some type of event with a friend and they refuse to turn off the TV at night and a natural consequence of this would be the next day very tired right let's just say exhausted all right that's a natural consequence of staying up too late for anybody so a logical consequence could be that you won't be able to go because you're late, you're too late, or you overslept, and your parent can't take you now. Because you were staying up too late, you slept in, you overslept, and now you can't go. So a punishment could be that, let's say you, the parent takes the TV, okay? So let's say the TV's in their room, and you, as a punishment, you take the TV so that they'll learn their lesson about not staying up waiting too late. So let's go through this situation as an adult. And let's say that you need to be at work the next day really early, okay? So you stayed up late, you're watching TV. Obviously, the natural consequence of that will be that you're tired and exhausted. And another natural consequence would be maybe you slept in and now you're late. So let's say that your boss said, you got one more chance to be late. And if you are, then I'm gonna have to let you go. So let's say you stayed up too late, you overslept, you missed your alarm, you go into work, and now the logical consequence is coming from your boss instead of your parent, and you get let go from your job. That's a logical consequence. Your boss gave you a warning and now you got fired. Now the punishment for this, well, I didn't break the law. Oversleeping is not a punishable offense, you know? So the punishment for this, there is no punishment for this. You're an adult now. There are no punishments. There's only natural and logical consequences that happen. So when we use punishments on our children, it doesn't translate into adulthood. So our next scenario, let's say a kid is throwing a toy that is not supposed to be thrown. Let's say it's an action figure like a G.I. Joe or Barbie 
So let's say it's something hard and rigid and it's not something that's supposed to be flying in the air. So a natural consequence when the kid throws it and it hits the wall, right? A natural consequence would be the toy breaks. So that's a natural consequence of throwing a toy that's not supposed to be thrown and it hitting the wall and it breaking. The logical consequence of this would be, let's say the parent takes the toy and then puts it away. So that's a logical consequence. After, and let's say you gave them a, a clear warning first, okay? Hey, don't throw that. That's not supposed to be thrown. If you keep throwing it, I'll need to take it away. So they kept throwing it and the parent takes it away. That's a logical consequence. It's relatable, it's respectful, and it's reasonable. So let's go through what a punishment could be. A punishment could be that the parent throws away the toy. So at this point, you're just trying to inflict some type of emotional trauma, or you're just trying to inflict some emotional pain right here by throwing the toy away because they didn't listen about throwing it. So now let's translate this as an into an adult. And let's say I have something that I'm throwing in the house that shouldn't be thrown. So let's say it's a baseball, okay? So I'm throwing a baseball in the house. Obviously, baseball is an outside sport, right? So I break my window, right? A natural consequence of that would be now I have glass all over the floor that I have to clean up, right? Uh, a logical consequence would be now I have to replace the window, great. And a punishment, huh? Well, I didn't break the law or anything, so the cops aren't gonna be showing up at my house. So what would be a punishment? Right, there is no punishment. There's no punishment as an adult. There's only logical and natural consequences as an adult. Hey guys, thank you for watching today. If you like what you saw, share it with a friend. If you wanna know more about how to raise your children in a respectful, healthy, and effective way, hit the subscribe button or like our page on Facebook. Have a great day.